um, unwrapping the fish. So we looked at some of the principles of unwrapping and some of the ways that you can start it and uh, what UV mapping is. What we're going to look at is how to approach something like a fish. So here we have one that I've unwrapped already. Uh, if we just go into the window UV texture editor and see um, bring this out a little bit. See that we've got the um, parts laid out. So we've got the side of the fish, we've got the inside of the mouth, uh, we've got the um, two fins laid out. And that way we can get access to all the UV information when we're painting on this in a 2D program. So, what I'm going to do with this, just close it down. I'm going to start from scratch on this. Um, I have, by the way, got a checkerboard material on this, so um, let's just go into Window, Rendering Editors Hypershade. Uh, just let that load up. There you go. This is my fish material. If we just middle um, drag, middle mouse button, drag this down to the work area. And then I'm just going to click on this to open the connections. We actually just have a checkerboard, so this is just a normal 2D checker applied to a normal blim material. Um, so if I want to do that, I do. Middle mouse button drag out over to this one, and then we choose the color map. And we can just create a checkerboard like that. Okay, Let's delete those. Um, just close this down for now. So, what I'm going to do is just go to uh, create UVs. I'm going to create an empty UV set. Um, I said that. Let me just go into the setting for this. Uh, oh, just checking the name. So, create UV set. I'm going to call this fish UV set. And I'm going to create. I just go, uh, just come out of smooth shade, press 1. I just go over to the UV texture editor. And what I'm going to do is just go up to this UV set and I'm going to use this fish UV set, which is just a blank canvas, um, just so we can start fresh from this. So the first thing I'm going to do, let's look at this fish. So the majority of the detail lies on this angle here, on the side. This is where most of the detail is. Um, the only thing we don't really get in there is the fins, because we're just projecting from the side. We don't actually see a lot of these polygons, particularly the ones underneath. Um, the other area is inside the mouth, which again is just getting uh, stretching from where it will grab these, this pixel information and try to drag it the whole way across. But the side view is a good starting point for this. Uh, the other nice thing about this is we can work... Um, as a kind of a quick cheat, uh, we can work pretty much in a symmetry mode. Uh, well, not symmetry mode, but actually we can texture onto this side, and whatever we do on that side, it will do on the reverse. So we only have to worry about texturing or painting one side. So, with the fish selected in object mode, I'm just going to go in to my create UVs planar mapping. Uh, I'm going to project a Playing our map from the x axis. Okay, project. Uh, I'm not particularly concerned with the, um, the dimension to this at the minute. Well, I'll kind of just scale this down so it's more in proportion. Uh, but really, what I want to do is just move this off to the side for a second. Okay. So, this is the side of our fish. Um, projected from the side but what we're not getting on this is these edges around here uh, if I just go into so I'm just right clicking and go into UV set go one of these UVs just look over here we can see um, in fact if we just select this one as well Oops, uh, shift you can see these lay on the same plane so this polygon or this set of polygons aren't going to receive any textual information apart from the information given to this UV 
So you'll just stretch that information across. We won't get any uh, real information on that. So a quick way to deal with this. I'm just going to right click and click on my edge. And so I'm going to double click to select the entire loop. And then I'm going to right click on this and click to UVs. What that's going to do is select all those UV points that those edges were are on. So let's just go into R for scale. And I'm just going to scale this up. I'm going to have to do some tweaking on this, but just as an initial scale up. Okay. So now. See on this, um, just with those two UVs uh, selected, you can see we can actually see both UVs now. Right, um, got a bit of a border around this, so let's go and fix some problem areas around here, where this middle one comes into this side. Um, probably best off going into this perspective view. Just going to select this one here. Let's just move this. Uh, I've got one selected down here as well. Make sure I deselect that. Just bring this out. I'm just going to check this one as well. Let's drag this out. So anywhere where we've got an overlap on this, and where we can't see the UVs, we just need to go around and fix some of these points. Uh, this is just really down to the way it's scaled out. So you can see here we've got some overlaps on these middle points. Now I'm making sure I'm only dealing with the middle points right now. If I was to deal with any of these at the other side, I would have to select the ones on the, uh, the reverse side as well. But right now, I can kind of see where these go. Again, just some at the top. And again, just getting these middle ones. That actually looks okay. Uh, it's just the inverse pattern on this side. Um, let's see if I can select these two inner ones. In fact, all of these three. Let's just have a look at these for a second. Just bring these out. Just reshaping those. Um, the tricky part about this is this line that's coming down here. You can see, when it gets down here, what we may have to do is actually pull this back to get some of these other points. So I'm just drag selecting around these points. And then these ones in the inside of this. Press F to focus in on these. Let's just grab these three. And you can see um, here they are flat, here they're not. So I just need to start bringing these out. And in fact, these are the center ones, I'm presuming. Yep. I can just start bringing these back in. Okay, let's go back around to this side. Hold this a little. And again, we've got the same kind of issues on this side. Bring those in. Um, let's quickly go around this. You trying to keep the um, distance, the shape, quite similar to the original model dimensions. It's going to go up. I'm not going to worry too much about the front. Uh, we just have these areas here on the eye. Just 
come to this, let's just focus in on this, press F. Where these are actually from the side higher. Um, so we could grab this one and remember we're going to go on the other side with this. Let's just drag these up a little bit. Let's clear a bit of room for these. Okay, just making that a bit easier to see. Um, again, you should always be able to see the relative UVs. And let's just look at this eye area. So this is the outside. I'm just going to bring these in. Right like that to give those a bit more room. And for now, that's okay. Now you can see this is done exactly the same on the other side. Uh, it's given us a much better shape across the middle now. There's some areas to deal with, um, but just as a quick thing, that's pretty good. Okay, in the next video tutorial we're going to move on to doing the uh, fins, and then we'll look at the inside of the mouth.